Hey guys, I'm going to do a little video right quick before we go fishing. I want to talk to you all today about topwater baits. There's a couple of different classifications of topwater baits that we use on a regular basis. One is some type of moving bait. Your whopper ploppers, your chopos, jitterbug, even the classic buzz bait or the double plopper, even something as goofy as the bat lure. You throw them out there and they need movement to work the action, jitterbug, buzzer, spinning, or, or the ploppers to plop. You need movement. These are great for open water or if you can come by a piece of cover. For instance, if you've got a cypress tree right there and that fish is tight to that cover, if you just throw it straight to the cypress tree and pull it away, you're automatically pulling it past where the strike zone is. But if there's a cypress tree there and you can cast past the cypress tree and pull it by, then you'll get exploded on. It's also good if you're on the edge of a bank and you can cast parallel to the bank and work the whole bank shoreline, then you, you're in the strike zone. Now sometimes you're going to just use a, a, a bait that doesn't move very far when you work it. A classic pop R. It chugs. You can bloop and it only move about two or three inches and it stays in the strike zone. You don't have to work it fast, but you can. And of course you got all your walk the dog baits like any type of Zara spook. Um, this is the sexy dog. And you got a skitter walk from Impala. You also have like the devil's horse. And you also have like the little baby torpedo by Hedden. Some of these baits you can throw in close to cover. And work them just a little bit and they get that motion, that noise, that movement. But you don't have to continually move them to get some action out of it and you can get your strikes there. Then of course the classic one is the frogs. And you got your regular frogs where you can walk the dog type movement. You can throw these all the way up in the heavy cover. You don't have to worry about them getting snagged as much. So you don't have to be as pinpoint with your casting. So some of them have a little concave nose. Like Caleb's right here is a little popping frog. Now, now there's also some models that you got the best of both worlds where you got the frog, but you've also got a spinning tail or the feet that move so you can work it up close to cover but then if you can pull it past some cover as well so today it's overcast we're getting ready to go out to West Neck we're going to tie on some of these baits I'm going to try to show you the reason we're using certain one of these baits in different scenarios some of them you want to have um, shallow water some of them it's, you want to be coming past some kind of cover a log or something like that so, y'all stay tuned. We're going to get out on West Neck, tie some of these baits on. We'll see if we can show y'all us catching some fish on top water. Peace. God, I think it's a pickle. All right, guys. So, we were talking about the top water baits. Here I got a shallow pocket, but it's got open water. And so I was just bringing this across the open water. And so I was able to use that whopper plopper and catch this fish. Ah, ouch! That was in your finger? Oh yeah, he ripped it right through my finger. Right through my finger. So... Is recording. I'm gonna let him go. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a big gash. I don't know what. Rip that whole corner Good off. Night. Get him! He got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Can you get him around that tree? I know. Just let me do what I'm doing. 
I don't know if I can get around this thing. Alright. Yeah, he might be off by now. I don't think he is. No, he's still there. Still there. Go that way. Go that way. You want to get down there and get him? Oh, he's not that bad. Don't break your rod tip. I didn't. All right, so this time we're talking about how Caleb was thrown way back here in this yuck. Landed on the scum. Yeah, so when you when you can't throw with treble hooks back here, so he's throwing that frog. And look at that fish. Nice one. He got the first bass of the day, but he absolutely crushed it. That's how you that's how you want a frog bite right there, buddy. Good job. All right, guys, I caught this fish. Right back in this little pocket. He actually followed out a little ways. This was on a devil's horse. And unfortunately I had to have the camera off because it started raining. So, I didn't get the, ca the bite on camera, but it was good. Right. Here we go, guys. Another one on the devil's horse. I don't catch him on a devil's horse that often, but he absolutely slammed it. We still can't run the camera yet because it's raining. I don't want my camera gear to get messed up. Look, he's, he's got scales on two of the hooks, so he had it wrapped all around the side of his body. All right, let's see if I can get this guy unhooked without hurting me. One guy already ripped my finger open. I'm going to have to need fire. I think. I had him up. Oh, they're up there, aren't they? Right here. Here. Let's go. It shut down. I don't know if it's. It's still Okay. All right. That was awesome. Blow up too. We go, guys. One more time. We're gonna let this big girl go. All right. Thank you. Just because of the rain? Yeah. Oh my goodness! That scared the life out of me, dude. Oh, caught in the wire. That was amazing. Yup. He followed it right to the boat, man. I was recording. Another one on the whopper plopper, buddy. It's been a minute. We've got rained on, not rained on. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that one. Now, that one I threw it up in the pocket, but that fish was able to follow it out and come get it. Dude, I thought it was a huge one. That's crazy. I know, I almost did. I popped it out of his back. And he went nuts. Alright, so this is the walking style bait. This is about the fourth fish I've had on it. This one came in. I had one teeny one. I probably won't show him. But the reason why this worked here is because I was able to throw it just behind that grass packet right there and worked it, and he came up and blew it, blew it out the water. Walk off of it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Is he on there? Do you need the net? What is it? Cool, man. Yep. Awesome. Sexy Shad Pop R. Pretty much. Awesome. Let's see if it's recording. It is. There you go. Okay, I've got one on the fly rod. Awesome. 
Hit him. You got him? Good deal. That was a good hit. Do you need it? Do you need a net? You need a net? Yeah, he's not that big. Sweet, man. Oh, he's very good. Pretty monster. Slammed it, though. Fair enough. Awesome. Why do these have to be little fish over here? You said it yourself. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. You said this other big fish. Further out. Yeah. But that was an aggressive strike for sure. Get the pliers to this guy. That was an aggressive bite. A minute forty seconds from yours. Got him. Okay, we caught another one on the frog. That's a little dude though. That's what I'm saying. This cove right here has got little fish that in it. That's crazy. Because over that log? Yeah. Here and him. I watched him, him over the log. And then... Got him. Good him. Nice one. Nice one. You need a net? I'm good. You good? Let's see. Get a bite in the fish. A 14 inch fish. 13 inch, 14, something like that. Cool. Nice. Nice with that. There you go. On the frog. And there's one on the frog, guys. There's another lure. Just a little guy. Put it right in the roof of his mouth, just like you're supposed to. Thank you for playing. That was a good bite, dude. He's pulling the boat. Do you need that? Nope. Shoot water on everything. I think I've almost missed all the fish I've caught before I've caught them. Yeah? Another one on the frog. There you go, man. Get him! Come on! You're getting yours, I'm missing mine. We. Oh, you just running straight at. Me. Awesome. It so must be frog. Get him. Get him. This frog. I don't want to get back in here before I get. get All right. Awesome. Got another one. Cool. That's, That's better a better one, buddy. He wasn't acting like it. Forty-five seconds from your last fish. Awesome. Good gravy. That was so aggressive for such a little fish. Good lord. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it.
I thought I'd catch your fish too. Quit. You just figured them out. You just you're on it. Got one. That, that, yeah, I don't know. I think I can get him. Yeah. Nah. Oh, feed him right on the car. Yeah. I got him hog tied. He, re oh. he reached back and got that thing stuck in his side. Um, let me make sure. Oh, let me see if I can pop this front one out, if I can pop this one out. <clears throat> I had it out. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. But you were right, I had to bend his body. Yeah. That's why I was offering to do I think you had the wildest idea, but I don't even want to do it. Thank you, buddy. Good aggressive bite on the Whopper Popper. Oh, Goosh! That's a good one, yeah. Um, I don't know yet. Ouch. That was a good one, buddy. Get him! Oh, yeah. I looked away. That's a pickle. <laughs> Give me a lure. <laughs> Don't tear my junk up. Well, grab him quickly. He's not tearing it up. Yeah. Don't put a line in his mouth. Good. Nice. Good hook. Good hook. Do you need the hook pliers? Yeah. It's right in his teeth. <clears throat> right in his line. You can just stop. That hook was not coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to get it better. Good, nice. Quick, wiggling. Try not to break your jaw here. Good. <laughs> Smack you to death. This is a pretty good cove. Yeah. I'll go ahead and took my lure. Genuinely hard to get out. There you go. Frog. Sprinkle frog. Sprinkle So now that's the in between frog between the moving bait and the frog. Nice pickle. Here. And well, so I'm you can throw it up in the deep cover, still work it like you do a scum frog. But then when you come out in the cover, it runs just like a whopper plopper. So that's the go go to in between bait. He's not the biggest one, but I'll take him. It's been a minute. No, nope, this is a straight up whopper plopper. I didn't didn't get no bites on it or no connections on that chopo. I'm gonna say that counts as a good idea to switch sides. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Nice. Caleb. You gave him enough time. I unhooked them and hooked them again. Wow. It's because I snatched them. I didn't know he'd come all the way out the water like that. Do you got these pliers? I do. I just want to grab the hook and pop them out. Thank you, sir. You turd. No, I caught him in a booty hole. There you go. Off he goes. That was good. Now, I had him in the face, but he jumped out of the air. I know. And it flipped around and caught him in the butt. Yeah.
Scotty. Scotty's nice. good. He's just crazy. He's a nice one. Yeah, he's a decent one. Wild. I had to get it back in that pocket deep enough for him to be able to get it, you know? You missed one. Another decent one. Not a monster, but I'll take him. Oh, got him. Out in the middle. Huh? I don't think he's that little. I was watching it too. Yeah, he's a little bit little. Oh! Yeah, this wasn't a hook. And he got released. Got him. Not really. But he ate it. First one on the frog, you That's my second one, frog. Yeah. But he was back in that yuck. I couldn't throw the whopper plopper back there because of so much of this grass. And then, um, I mean, I threw it back in there, and he ate it on the on the drop end. I can't even see the hook. Okay. I was able to pop it loose. Alright. I'm standing up for a second. Alright, little frog fish. Crest a bite. See you, buddy. And it fell out. The sun came out, so the top water bite has died off. So for a minute, I threw the chatterbait. Oh, there was something darting. Wow. Got him. Oh, Chapo. First fish on the Chapo. Hey, y'all know I found this lure one time. And I was like, well, I ain't throwing that chopo. I love my whopper plopper, but I wanted to catch one on it. So there it is. He ate the chopo. Thank you, buddy. Still probably the best one of the day. Probably. I'll probably do an outro right here too, Caleb, because yep. we're running out of daytime. Oh, and he wiggled off. Look at there. Watch out. Yeah. We'll be all right. Boink. All right. Oh. I'm 
Did you get another one? On the outro. That's too sweet right there, buddy. My whopper plopper and your whopper plopper. So, guys, we tried to put on together a video to show you all the different uses of the different top waters. The frogs for heavy cover. You need the pliers? The frogs for heavy cover. The moving baits for open water and um, open water and around cover, but it's not too heavy cover. And then the the moving baits, the walking baits, the poppers, and stuff like that, so that you can be close to the cover, but but not not pull it out of the strike zone. So. And then we end up with two on the outro. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace. We'll see y'all later.